Hi friends, today let us see Transformers first topic principle of operation. The topics to be discussed in this video are drawing the transformer core and windings, identifying the source and load sides, explaining the transformer action and identify the quantities accordingly. So this is transformer principle of operation diagram and this, will, this is the transformer core and these two are the windings the first winding the winding which is connected to supply is called primary winding and the winding which is connected to load is called secondary winding that means one thing is one one winding is given to the supply and one winding is given to the load in general and this is a two winding transformer there may be many windings also so here the first winding is having N1 turns, second winding is having N2 turns. Yes, if V1 voltage, V1, AC voltage V1 is given to primary winding or the first winding, then there is a current flowing in, the, in this winding. Because of this current, there is a flux in this winding. And in winding, there are two types of fluxes. One is self-induced self flux and second one is mutually induced flux or mutual flux and this mutual flux is flowing in the transformer core and here the secondary winding is also wound on the same transformer core so it can it will also take the advantage of this flux as voltage v1 is alternating voltage and current i1 should be alternating and flux phi is directly proportional to the current passing through the coil so flux phi should be the alternating so as flux phi is alternating according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction there is some EMF induced in the primary coil and that EMF is E is equal to E1 is equal to minus N1 d phi by dt where minus sign indicates according to the Lenz law the EMF induced E1 is opposing the cause producing it that is maybe V1 or we can say I1 also. So in this way there are two EMFs induced here one EMF is at primary winding and second EMF is at secondary winding. The main cause of in, in, induction in the windings is the change in flux as the flux is alternating and the same flux is same flux is shared by the two coils so we are getting e induced emfs in each each coil and if we have one more coil also we will get one more induced emf in that coil also but as e1 is the e1 is equal to minus n1 by d5 by dt even though d5 by dt is same for all these coils which are connected to, to the same transformer core based on the number of turns the EMF will be induced. So in this in this way according to this diagram N1 is more compared to N2 so E1 should be the more compared to E2. So this is the case and if in this manner we are getting induced EMF in the secondary coil also. If the two terminals of the secondary coil is connected to the load then there is a flow of current in the secondary winding that is I2. So in this manner if we are giving supply to the one winding of the transformer because of this action or I mean because of this scenario based on Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction and Lenz law the EMF will be induced in the secondary coil also based on mutual induction EMF will be induced in the second coil and the current will flow through the load. So in this way the electrical energy from one circuit is transferred to other circuit through the medium of magnetism. So through magnetic medium. This is the main concept of transformer action. So obviously there is a voltage across the load and that voltage will be V2. If you like this video, please like it. If you have any doubts, please write in the comment box. If I commit any mistake, please let me know and try to share this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. One and all.